Okay guys, they are here to stay. Cycling shorts. I've gotten so many requests on how to wear these things. And I even had to figure it out myself. So if you guys want to learn how to wear cycling shorts, keep watching. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Style Replay Time, and this is a video series where I show you seven to 10 ways on how to wear a specific item. Um, one specific item, seven to 10 ways. Yay! And today, we're gonna be talking about cycling shorts. <laughs> now, if you guys haven't already, you can actually look at a quick version on how to wear cycling shorts here on Instagram. And make sure to go ahead and follow me there at Brittany Cruz underscore. And I will be on there. You guys get all my outfits. Um, I'm on stories a lot talking and giving you guys style tips there. Um, I talk a lot about my beliefs and mindset hacks and different ways that you can up level the way that you think about yourself and the way that you love yourself. And so definitely if you want to get into that, follow Follow me on Instagram. Okay, let's go and get into it. So I'm going to talk through all of the outfits that I wore today. Now I was able to actually style up to almost 10 outfits. I also was able to show you three different styles of cycling shorts. Now one thing um, that I did was I started off with the black pair. So these black pair are from um, Target in the Wild Fable section. I got them in a medium because I wanted them to be kind of tight and they are, they are perfect. High waisted and look at them, has that extra sheen to it. I love that so much. Now, there are so many ways to wear this type of outfit. You can look extremely girly, you can look extremely edgy, you can look extremely like you're getting ready to work out. There's so many ways to wear this and so I tried to give you guys a few ways um, so that you guys can feel comfortable with your own personal style. I don't know. So I started off with these um, from Target. These were a really great purchase. And the first item that I wore it with was this bra. So I have this Lululemon bra from Lululemon. <laughs> I got it from the Lululemon outlet. So I got a really, 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 really good deal. If you guys don't know, there's an outlet in Florida. Um, and so I went there and I got this for like 25 bucks. And what she says is it's going to last in my closet for about five to 10 years, which is great as long as I take care of it. But I love it because it has a bit of leathery flakes to it. So if you pair these two together, they're like great friends. You see the little sheen? So I paired them together as if they were friends. And um, I first did a really cool 90s feel look. Oh my gosh, guys. This is my husband's jacket. He got it from a company called 5'4". 54 Los Angeles. I love it so much. That's it, 5'4". Um, so it, this is an extra large and it's just like a windbreaker and this is perfect for Florida because sometimes like, even though it's hot, um, the air is cold in most stores, in restaurants, at home and different things like that. So you need like a very light layer and that's what this is. And so I layered it with this jacket with my, um, Vans and I put all my favorite gold necklaces on have the same hoops and I kept the same Situation like for for me right now accessories wise. I just like this So it's just gonna be a whole bunch of variations of this So I kept this the same for you guys now the next outfit that I paired it with was actually a little edgier I paired it with this um, Shirt right here that I got from forever 21, which is amazing. I will link it down below. It's like it feels like a swimsuit but it's not, it just feels good. Can you, can you hear that? It feels good. So anyway, so I paired it with the blazer. I did the blazer with the, um, I did the blazer with the cycling shorts. Yes, I did it, I did it. But I paired it with this um, blazer that I got from H&M and it's an oversized blazer. I love it so much. And I buttoned it up and I paired it with um, the sneakers, but then I changed it up and put the boots on. And I think once I put the boots on, I was like, oh yeah, this is kind of cute. I don't know how brave I am to actually wear it out. And I'm not sure if it's my personal style, but I wanted to show you guys the option and the, and the look of it. So, hey, if you really like it, then wear it. Um, I'm not sure, will I wear it? That's the question. Then I paired it with this shirt. 
This is my Purple Rain shirt from Target. I love it so much, you guys. See, this shirt right here is gonna last me forever in my closet. I'm just gonna keep, keep washing it and washing it and washing it and washing it until it just almost fades away. I don't know why, but I want to. I got a brand new from Target for $12.99 and I link it down below for you guys and it's oversized. It's a size 2X in men's and it just fits perfectly. It's the perfect size to be like a t-shirt dress, but in case I lift my arms because the, the shirt goes up with your arms, you have the shorts for uh, leg and booty protection. So I love that so much. I also put this jean jacket around my waist just in case I get cold or different things like that. This is a great um, theme park outfit, honestly, is what I would wear running errands out, um, running to the store, running errands, it's the same thing, going on a, a casual date with a man piece of yours. This is a great outfit to go and I love that so much. It's like chill, edgy, cool, it's good. The next item that I paired it with is this white shirt. Oh my gosh, this shirt is so nice. It's from Old Navy. It's a medium and it's been in my closet for years. Like I said, these are things that you keep in your closet for years because you're gonna keep wearing them. Now, it's okay to update. So me, I might wanna update to something even more oversized because now the oversized 90s look is even more in. But I still paired it with this just to show you and use what was in my closet. Um, this just basically ties in the front, but I untied it. I actually liked it better untied and more like loose. Um, but I did tie it to show you what that would look like. Then I switched out the cycling shorts for these. These are my Forever 21 cycling shorts. They are ribbed, they are so cute, and they are size large. Yes, these are great, they're extra long, and I paired it with the white shirt also, and I thought that was really nice together. And then I actually switched that white shirt out for this nude beauty. Oh, my new beauty. <sighs> my new big shoulder tank you guys see this it's like the same almost so it almost looks like the color of my skin just a flat version yes this is so nice it's like a rosy brown color and i paired it these tones just look so good together it's just what i'm into i'm not really hugely into black and this is why i wanted to show you the nude um, and the great options because i wanted to go on a lighter palette for you to see to show you what that would look like and i love this together okay i paired those with these i forget what they're called but i've had them for about two years now great 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 purchase this is a men's purchase actually and um they were supposed to be brown but they look just more green in person but they look brown on camera so so basically this whole situation you see they're just all brown friends i love that now of course i'm going to show you another nude option and that nude option is this nude sweatshirt this new sweatshirt made it in the last video too to cover up the booty and also any type of camel toe i paired it with my jean jacket and wrapped around my waist and boom you got yourself covered up and looking cute all right next is we're gonna move to the gray pair i love these so much now these are great these are great to walk around the house in um you know like on a saturday um it's great to wear out i just love the color palette of the gray um, for some reason these are actually between i don't know they're all my favorite for all different reasons but these ones are great because i can wear them just around the house they're just nice to wear around so what i did was i paired it with this same shirt from forever 21 and i put on my man's jean shirt this is a chambray shirt chambray 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 i don't know how to say it but c h a m b r a y okay basically now these types of shirts are usually made out of yeah lyocell which is actually a really really biodegradable material which i support and um so i love this this is from dkny he wears it he hasn't worn it in a while actually but i saw it in the closet and i was like "Ooh, this is kind of like that 90s big feel so i'm gonna wear that and you guys that color palette <laughs> It was so nice and cool and summery and relaxing and beachy. It was just everything to me. Okay, so I switched out a pair of, I switched out the brown shoes for a pair of Calabasas. And these are my gray blue Calabasas right here. I love these so much. It's like I won't get rid of them because like sometimes I actually, you know what? Maybe I should get these in white though. I don't know. 
Okay, but anyway, so I love this shape of shoe and they just look so, look at that. It matches perfectly. So um, I just love that monochrome look. Okay, and the final item. The final item is this sweatshirt, another item of my husband's. This is the Goodfellow & Co. Target sweatshirt. Just took it from him and I paired it with the gray um, cycling shorts. Works really well because it matches perfectly. Another monochrome looking outfit and then also with the sneakers just looks super, super clean. Now remember, if you're going to wear something baggy, style it up a little bit. Scrunch the sleeves, tuck in the little, tuck in a piece of it. If not, let it hang, wear some jewelry. So that way you add that extra pizzazz where it looks like you're doing this on purpose. Oh man, that is it guys. I think I went through every single item in the lookbook. I'm su super excited and glad that you guys requested this. And if you have more style requests on different items, make sure to comment down below. Tell me on Instagram, whatever. I'll I take requests everywhere so make sure to do that and yeah that is it guys if you guys love this video make sure to like it make sure to subscribe and also hit the notifications bell so you know the next time that I do videos also don't forget still black lives matter so we are still giving away 50% of all commission given to me that um, comes through all affiliate links so if you purchase anything down below all that goes towards the black lives matter movement the NAACP and other um, charities and organizations that are pushing that needle forward to save lives in the future, save my children's and my children's children's lives in the future. Again, thank you again so much for joining me and I'm so glad you joined me today and you guys have a wonderful week. Bye.